multiplying two numbers together can have four different combinations of positive and negative. So first we can have a positive number multiplied by another positive number, a positive number and a negative number, a negative number and a positive number, and then two negative numbers being multiplied by each other. So let's go through examples of each of these with the notion that multiplication is just repeated addition. So for the first example, we're going to have 2 multiplied by 3. This will just equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 for a total of 3 times. Or we could do it reversed, which is 3 plus 3, which will just equal 6. Notice this is just repeated addition of what we're multiplying by. 2 added 3 times and 3 added 2 times. So then we can have a second example of 2 multiplied by negative 3. And for this, we can do negative 3 plus negative 3, which equals negative 6. Notice this follows the same logic we used in the first example. We're adding the negative 3 two times to itself. So for the third example, we're going to have negative 2, parentheses, multiplied by positive 3 which will equal just negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2, which will equal negative 6 as well. Now for the third, for the fourth example, sorry, we're going to have negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. We're going to have two negatives being multiplied by each other. What would this equal according to our logic? Well, our logic sort of breaks down at this point, the repetition of addition. Because, okay, let's just look at each case. If we have negative 2 and we add it to itself a negative 3 amount of times, that makes no sense. Similarly, if we have negative 3 and we add it to itself negative 2 amount of times, that, that just is preposterous. You know, it doesn't make logical sense in our minds. So we have to sort of expand this definition of multiplication into something new by like reordering an expression. We can do that by having an expression like x and y. And let's just assume for the method of this proof that these two numbers are just any real numbers. They can be 2 square root of 2 pi, anything like that. Negative pi, square root 2, square root of 4, anything like that, any real number. So and then we're going to multiply these two numbers by each other, but with their negative components. So we're going to multiply negative x and negative y. And we're going to see if we can manipulate this into something familiar. So first, just to do some trickery, some mathematical trickery, we're going to have the same expression, negative x multiplied by negative y. And we're going to add x multiplied by 0. Notice that this doesn't change the value of the expression at all because x multiplied by 0 is just 0, and this will be the same thing as adding 0 right here, which does not change the equality. So that is completely valid. So then what we can do is we can just continue with our equality, writing everything as it is. But what we can do is we can change the 0 so it actually equals negative y plus y. We're allowed to do this because negative y plus y, that just equals zero, so it still holds. It's still the exact same thing right here. So then we can further evaluate this by distributing the x for this term and this term. So this will change into the terms we had above, negative x, negative y, plus x times negative y, and then plus x times y. Now, notice in these first two terms, we have a similar number. We have negative y in the first one and negative y in the second one. We can factor out a negative y. So this is just equal negative y multiplied by negative x plus x. 
You can distribute this and you will get the exact same thing up here. All these terms are equal. And then plus our final term, x multiplied by y. And then you can probably see by now that this negative x plus y, I mean negative x plus x, this will just evaluate to zero. So then we can write negative y multiplied by zero plus x times y. And obviously any number multiplied by zero will just equal zero. So then we have zero plus x times y, and this equals just x times y. Notice, from the beginning, our statement was negative x multiplied by negative y. In our final statement, what we got down here, we got x multiplied by y. These two terms, we changed nothing about them. We just reordered some terms, we added zero, which is completely valid. And through that manipulation, we got that negative x multiplied by negative y equals x times y for any real number. Now, this will be true for all cases because we stated in the beginning that this works for all real numbers. That we can just substitute in any real number for x and y, and this will still be valid. These rules will still hold. So from this proof, we can determine that this answer will just be 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 3 plus 3, or 2 plus 2 plus 2, which will equal 6.